there, Wendy here from Draw So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw my Draw So Cute Harry Potter. So let's get started. With Harry Potter, we're going to first start by drawing his face. So right here, I'm going to be drawing um, the bottom of a very wide U. So here, we're going to draw a curve, comes down, and the other side. And I'm going to connect it. So from here, now that we have the bottom of his face, we're going to start to draw his bangs. So come towards the center, go to the left a little bit, and we're going to start to draw the curve for the strands of uh, his bangs. So we curve and come up. And I'm going to give him um, two more on this side. So one, two. And so on this side, I'm going to come over with a curve going the opposite way, and I'm going to draw two smaller ones on this side. And so from here, I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to connect this part right here to his face. And so on this side, I'm going to change it up a little bit and I'm going to draw a curve that meets to that point where you started. And so from here, I'm going to go up towards the center and I'm going to draw some um, strands of hair that are kind of sticking out for his hair. So right here, I'm going to draw two strands, one that goes this way, and then I'm going to bring it down with a big curve for his hair. Let me zigzag a little bit right here and come about right there. So same thing the other side. I'm going to come down, flare it out with a little strand of hair just to make it more interesting and then bring it in. And so, but right here is where I know I'm going to put his ears. So let's just put his ears right now. So I'm going to draw two curves. I mean a curve on this side. And I'm going to finish off his hair. So I'm going to go to the other side. And I know that's where I kind of stopped at the bottom. And draw another curve for his ears. So I'm giving him nice size ears. <laughs> and so here for some details, a curve, and then a curve at the bottom. So just a simplified way of giving details to the ear. And so from here, we can imagine this line going through, coming down for the some more strands of his hair because his hair is slightly um, long. He doesn't have that short of a hair, so I'm just going to bring some down here. And so from here, let's probably, uh, finally give this Harry Potter a cute little face with his glasses. <laughs> so right here, I'm going to draw two circles. So because he does have glasses, um, I'm drawing this circle a little bit smaller because I still have to give myself room for his glasses. So about right here, I'm going to draw a circle. So this is going to become messy when I try to draw the glasses, but I'm going to try because it's like a circle nightmare here. <laughs> so, okay, so two, nothing I can't fix on a computer, right? <laughs> and a curved line at the bottom for draw some cute eyes and shade in the top. And thank you so much for all the requests for Harry Potter. I was really happy to be able to draw this one and I really liked how he came out. I just think he's so cute, <laughs> if I may say so myself. <laughs> and I hope you think so too. So two small circles and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. Well, let's hope I just don't muck it up soon with the glasses. I think we might do okay. <laughs> and lines at the bottom. And so now comes the hard part for me because I'm using a Sharpie. I'm going to draw a circle around this circle. So, well, let's draw the bigger one first. So that, let's see here. So I'm gonna draw a big circle around it. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's try the other side. Come over here. And 
draw another one. Oh, <laughs> well, it's not too bad, right? And so I'm gonna come in here and draw another circle for his the um his glasses. So I'm gonna come in here with a thinner line. Should just follow the outside. There, another one right here. Oh no! <laughs> oh boy. Well, I guess I'm going to have a lot of fixing to do. So, please forgive me for that. But right here, <laughs> we must continue. So right here, I'm going to draw a curve to connect his glasses. So come towards the... Um, don't go directly in the center. Come a little bit lower. And I think that makes it a lot cuter. So I'm just going to bring this line right here towards the bottom a little bit more. And let's not forget the part that goes around the ear. So right there goes to the ear. And let's give him a cute little smile and cap it off. <laughs> there. And his eyebrows, of course. So very simple eyebrows. Just a curve. And you can bring it in to thicken it up with another curve on the top. So there, my Harry Potter with his uh, wiggly glasses. <laughs> and so now let's go and draw his outfit. So with Harry Potter, I had to give him his uh, signature uh, scarf. So right here, I'm going to draw a curve. So kind of like, a, hmm, what do you call that? Just a wave <laughs> on both sides. So right here, I'm going to center it. And so it's kind of like a very flattened out three on this side. And I'm going to connect it for his scarf. So for some details, I'm just going to, because there's, uh, I think it's red and yellow, right? So I'm going to draw some bands in here for the color, different colors. And so from here, I'm making, I'm simplifying his um, outfit um, so that it's, it makes it easier for us to draw. So come down here at an angle. I'm going to draw his robe and so here draw another one following the same line and so we kind of know this is about where we want to end his sweater so I'm going to draw a curved line right here and up here I'm going to draw a V and another line and then in here just going to draw two angle lines for his tie. And for some details on his sweater right here, I'm just going to draw two curved lines. And so now I can continue down his robe. I'm just going to come down. And his feet go under his robe. So I kind of imagine this is my robe and giving myself some space for where I know where his feet's going to be. So I'm going to come down. Connect it right here. Do a curve. And so from here, I'm going to draw his arm on one side. So it's very simple. I'm just having it come down. One hand's coming to the side. Connect it. And a little curve for his hand. And oh, almost forgot his scarf. So right here, I'm going to put his scarf that hangs down, connect it, and give it some tassels, and some bands that go this way for the co different colors, like that. And so finally his, um, his pants, so come towards the center, I'm going to draw a small line at an angle, and from here I'm going to draw two angle lines from the center. So this is his pants that I'm drawing. And so from here, I'm going to imagine his pants about right here are going to come down. And so I'm going to give this pair of pants some cuffs. So I'm going to draw a curve, come down. So I'm going to do the same thing, other side. And for his uh, shoe, I'm just making a really simple shoe. 
So just a curve and bring it down more and connect it. So same thing here, I'm going to draw a curve, bring it down a little bit more and connect it. And so now his hands. So his hands, he has to be holding a wand or he wouldn't be Harry Potter, right? <laughs> And so I'm going to have his hand come out. So right here I'm going to have his hand come out. And so it's a robe and I'm going to curve it right here. Connect it back in. And so here I'm going to draw his hand. So I'm simplifying his hand. So I'm going to give him a thumb. So I'm going to curve another small curve like that. And then his fingers. So I'm just going to draw Kind of like three ovals, two, three. And then I'm going to put a wand right here and finish off his hand. And so I'm going to imagine this wand going, continuing up and bring it back down. And so from right here, you can uh, just draw some Let's see, just make it look like it's glowing. <laughs> Some magic is happening right there. And so let's finish off his sleeve. So right here, we're going to draw another curve. Goes around. So right here, come out and come out a little bit more. So his hands look like it's inside. And I think that's pretty much it my Harry Potter. <laughs> I hope you like it because I know there's so many big fans out there for Harry Potter and uh, I hope you really like how I drew him and think he's really cute. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to get updates on more Draw So Cute videos. See you later.